very warm welcome again to More Gay Films Only. Now in today's video we're going to talk about how does penis enlargement surgery work? How does penis enlargement surgery work? Well, uh, most guys that come to Morgate Andrology tend to want to have their penis lengthened and thickened at the same time. About 80% of our patients will have uh, so-called length and girth surgery together. But of course, it is quite possible if you just want the penis lengthened or just thickened, that's fine too. On the other 20%, uh, virtually all of those will have their penis thickened. We do very few uh, surgeries where guys just have the length done, but it's possible if that's what you want. So, <clears throat> penis enlargement surgery works on the principle that in terms of length, m uh, all guys have uh, so-called hidden length. And this hidden length is accessed by a urologist uh, by dividing a ligament called a suspensory ligament, which is attached to the penis and the pubic bone. When the ligament is divided, this action slides the penis forward and makes it hang a little lower, giving the appearance of length gain. Now, the results of this manoeuvre are quite predictable. So we know that in around 95% uh, of cases, guys will achieve an extra one to two inches more in the flaccid length. 5% either get a little bit less than one inch or a little bit more than two inches. But for nearly all, it's somewhere between one to two inches. The urologist cannot know exactly to the centimetre just how much bigger your penis will be. But we know, broadly know uh, the uh, potential parameters, shall we say. Now, it's important to remember that uh, this manoeuvre does not increase the erect length of the penis. The erect length of the penis remains the same. Quite often, after six weeks, when everything has settled down in terms of the surgery, you may be given a traction device or an extender to help increase erect length after the surgery. And this is something that you will wear each day or each evening when you come home from work for about one to two hours. And it puts the penis in a slight traction and stimulates cell production deep inside the corporal bodies. And this can add up, up to an inch of erect length in the following 12 months. Now, in terms of girth, um, as well as the so-called ligamentosis surgery, then a fat transfer is done to increase the penis girth. This time, the results of this particular part of the operation are visible both in the flaccid and the erect girth of the penis. So fat is taken from the belly or the inner thighs, where the best quality fat is. The actual best quality fat is found on the inner thighs. When the fat has been extracted, it is then uh, put through a purification process that removes blood, dead cells and oils from the fat first. By doing this, uh, it makes the fat much easier to work with and also improves the survival rate. The remaining fat uh, is then injected into the uh, shaft of the penis to thicken it. Now, in most cases, the urologist will inject the maximum amount of fat that your penis can safely take. He does this because he knows that in the following um, uh, eight weeks or so, uh, 30 to 50 percent of this fat will absorb. This is a natural process that you can't prevent. But even allowing for this absorption rate, most guys do get an increase in the flaccid and direct girth of around an inch. Some men uh, do retain most of the fat that is injected and the girth gains can be as much as two inches. Now, 
um, it should be remembered that uh, you cannot engage in any sexual activity for six weeks after the surgery. This is a very important point. It will take um, six weeks for everything to settle down. Swelling, bruising of the uh, belly or inner thighs where the fat was taken from. And if you're not circumcised, you may notice that in the first uh, few weeks, the foreskin becomes a little bit tight. If you're circumcised, of course, you cannot have this problem. Some men ask, is it a requirement to be circumcised um, at the same time or before a penis enlargement surgery? Well, the answer to that question is no. Um, but the only thing is, if you, uh, if you have a tight foreskin already, uh, a condition called phimosis, then the urologist may recommend a circumcision before or, or at the same time as your penis enlargement surgery. This is because if you have a tight foreskin before the operation, then uh, it will certainly be uh, tight afterwards. This is because as the fat settles into the penis, it finds its way to the foreskin, which is very soft. And there is no border between the shaft and the foreskin. Well, uh, that's how penis enlargement surgery works. I hope that's given you uh, some idea of the process. If you'd like to know more, then you can get in touch with us here at Moorgate Andrology and we can arrange a consultation for you with one of our urologists. Well, I hope you like this video. If you do, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos about penis enlargement surgery, please subscribe. That's all from me today. I look forward to seeing you back here at Moorgate Andrology very soon. And until then, bye for now.